I think it's, I, I would hate to speculate, right, about how if we had done this thing with an uneducated sample, how the results would apply. Um, but I actually think the results are in some sense telling, right? So if the story is that people who had lower levels of education are actually uh, much less enthusiastic about Clinton and more enthusiastic about Trump um, in, certain, in these counties, the fact that we are seeing this decline in enthusiasm amongst a sample that should have been extraordinarily enthusiastic about Clinton, uh, I think is incredibly telling, right? That, these results would likely be exaggerated if we had started somewhere with people who weren't all that positive on, um, on, on Clinton to begin with. I think the other, um, and kind of speculating for a little bit here, I think another uh, thing that could apply is what happens with independents. So if independents are generally people who for whatever reason want to reject at least reporting that they're part of the established, of the established uh, two-party process. And if in a lot of uh, counties that went for Trump, you have a lot of people who are feeling um, kind of rejected from the two-party process and who also want to, uh, don't want to participate in it, I think what happens with our independence is applicable in that way as well, right? If, if there are these big shifts away from Clinton and toward Trump among people who want to reject the two, uh, reject the two parties, who see no room for themselves in the two parties, I think it would apply broadly there as well.